Hello friends, most welcome to my YouTube channel and the crash course of psycholinguistics. In this video, we will discuss about the introductionist theory of language acquisition. In the previous videos, we have already discussed about the behaviorist theory, the introductionist theory and the nativist theory of language acquisition. So, if you have not yet subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe my YouTube channel. I would be much thankful. Okay, so without wasting any further time, let's start our discussion on the introductionist or info theory of language acquisition. This theory was basically proposed by Jerome Berner in 1961. First of all, we will discuss its definition, then we will discuss its main points, then we will discuss the supportive studies of this theory, and at the end, we will discuss some of the limitations of the introductionist theory of language acquisition. Okay, so according to introductionist theory, social interaction is prerequisite to cognitive development. It is actually the opposite of cognitive theory. Okay, the main statement of the introductionist theory is that children acquire language through interaction with their caregivers. Main points of the theory. Children are born with an ability to develop language, but interaction with their caregivers is needed. Without interaction, children can't acquire language. Okay, Jerome Berner coined the term language acquisition support system in response to Chomsky's LAD, language acquisition device. The caregivers tend to correct their children's mistake that they make in using language and teach them how to communicate their thoughts and feelings. This idea is called loss language acquisition supportive system. In fact, the caregivers skip for the language, the child language. Okay, what is child-directed speech? Also called baby talk or mother easy. Caregivers also use child-directed speech to influence child language acquisition. The child-directed speech is characterized by simple syntactic structure, simple vocabulary, frequent questions, repetitions, and more obvious intonations. Okay, so here are supportive studies of the introductionist theory of language acquisition. The case of Jim. In 1977, Bard and Sox presented a case of child named Jim, the hearing son of deaf parents. His parents, who used sign language, wanted their son to develop normal oral and verbal language. So Jim used to watch TV and listen to radio all day, but in spite of that, his language acquisition progress was limited. So it means that simple exposure to language is not enough and frequent interaction is necessary. Okay, so here is a limitation of the introductionist theory of uh, language acquisition. This theory early emphasizes the importance of interaction. There are cultures in which adults do not adopt special ways of talking to children. Language acquisition support system may be useful but not essential. Okay, so this was our last tutorial on the theories of language acquisition. Okay, so if you want to learn more about the theories of language acquisition, we have already uploaded them on our channel. You can check them. Thanks. See you next time. Take care.